Let's hear it from the Asian Hi guys, uh, I'm here with Pat Guno from the Philippines, but he's here staying in Sydney, Australia. He's a producer, music producer. He made a lot of music already here in Australia. You can catch him in Spotify and uh, SoundCloud, I think. Uh, here, uh, I'm here to welcome you guys, uh, Pat. Hello, Pat. How are you? Hey, Tom. How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. How's everything? Uh, how's everything? How's the lockdown going? Oh, it's been um, it's been like for most people, it's been what it is like. Just wanting to to get out there and um, enjoy the freedoms of um, of Sydney again. All so, right, then let's go to the topic then. So if a lock if the lockdown happens again and you're given a chance to prepare, what are your three survival kits that you need to prepare men uh basically in order for you to be in to be sane for you to continue the music flowing, even if it's a lockdown? Then let's discuss those three things and let's show them what are those. Right, right. Um, well, the first thing would be to establish a strong like bond with a, a group of people who are musically inclined as well. Yeah. Um, yes, that, you know, it's because you want to be continually pushed and inspired um, to create and collaborate. If yeah. there was one thing I could, I could really take back because it's so easy. It's so easy to get distracted and to lose inspiration in a lockdown if you don't have other people. To, to inspire you yeah you need the motivation like right do you have yeah. those people right now with you um well my flatmate he um he plays the piano as well so oh, right. we do we do jam every now and then i have a few friends in the philippines who message me um and we try to put some things together um but for the most part this this is why, like, if I had a chance to do it again, even before I would have, I would have created a stronger dependency on other people. It's like, it's like a culture, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where, you, you, where you share the same thing with them. Exactly, exactly. And you kind of feel like you're, um, you're, um, they, they need to know that you're actually doing something. You need somebody else to 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 push you to push you to create to so, stay yeah. motivated. Make sure to stay motivated to keep the most the music flowing and to to do something good with the lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Because honestly, yeah. Because honestly, like pre lockdown, the best and the most fun music is the music that you make with other people. Yeah. Um. Ideas are ideas are flowing. Um, there's just there's just so much inspiration in the conversation of a you know just a just a normal conversation. So yeah, that will be number one. Um, okay. Number two. So number number two. two would be yeah, it would um. So this is more of like a, it's not really physical, but it's more of like learning how to plan both short term and long term goals. For, okay, what, for what do you mean about music. that? So creating music is like, it's like, it's almost like a sport. You have to not just show up to the event, but you also have to practice. Um, there's yeah. a there's a bunch of things that you need to um, do in the background that nobody really sees that often. And that would need, you know, obviously discipline and whatever, because that's like practice. And if you're an independent music, musician like I am, um, you're basically managing your own social media. Um, yeah. You're thinking of captions, you're thinking of content. Um, and you're, you're basically looking around what other people are doing. And you have to keep the music quality good as well. So it's a balance yeah. of, of things. And if you don't really plan toward succeeding you can't really succeed basically so it's like a calendar like exactly. you need to make a schedule of what you need what you need to do 
in order for you to keep busy and stay focused on it. That, that's exactly right. Because it's so easy to, you know, lose the days here in the lockdown, right? So how about the discipline? We all know that yeah, it's a lockdown. It's different things. Sometimes you get lazy, you get sleepy, something's going to happen. What are the things that, what are the challenges that you face and you think you will face in order for you to battle the challenges? Yeah, look, I, I have faced these and I've lost, to be honest. Like, I haven't been able yeah. to eat as much. I've lost many times. I can say i lost many times. Like, it's so easy to just just lose it. But um, speaking of that, you need to, you need to feel like you, you're, like you need to feel responsible. You need to feel responsible and ob- obligated to create and to keep doing this um that i think is one thing that in a lockdown is so easy to lose and which is you know going back to number one which is establishing a a strong music group that will make you feel obligated to to yeah um, Uh, correct correct right and and to and the plan like if you have a date that you need to make meet then you'll feel obligated to work. Okay, like it's like it's like a deadline. It's like a assessment yeah. deadline where you actually have to make this work. And if you don't, then you know you you you're gonna you're gonna push everything back. So yeah, that that's why that's number two. Um, so, and then lastly, you, oh yeah, no no, I have, oh, yeah, I, I just have I just have a follow up question. Yeah, sure. What are the things that you've done before? that uh you need to if you can go back what are those things that you will change like in musical like i i i should have done this music long time ago when i had a chance but i lost this battle if you're given a chance what will you change to that to uh to that moment yeah that's a that's a really really good question um look i would i would probably change um, I would try to I I try to keep my interest in in a release that I had planned. So yeah. there's there's always that thing where you know you you can plan everything you can you can you know set the dates for everything. But then if you lose interest in the project, um, then it's lost forever. So if there's a way. Uh, I, if there was something that I could change, it would be also to keep interest in a project. And, you know, and that would be in many ways just by letting people hear it, getting feedback, um, you know, uh, I don't know, um, continue, uh, continue finding inspiration in other things as well um, that, that, you know, makes it all con- come together. And, you know, for it's, it's interesting because the other thing that you need to do is kind of lock yourself away from everything else, like to keep your interest into something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually people, have to some stop. Some people, like, uh, it helps them. The lockdown helps them to create those stuff. Like, I have a friend, like, she's in a mental, uh, she had a mental sickness, and the lockdown helped her overcome the uh depression because a lot of people like having a depression because of the lockdown but in her case it helped her to overcome that situation same with music like you can do this music because it's locked down there's lesser destruction exactly exactly well that yeah just depends on how will you manage the lockdown exactly exactly like it's you you'd think that there's less there should be less distractions, but there's always something to distract you if you allow. There's an always disrupt. There will always be a distraction, and it's just you. How will you battle it? Because me, honestly, I've lost many, many times to the to those distractions. <laughs> many times, and I, like, um, I had a lot of loss compared to my win over that distraction. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, that's that's completely normal. I I don't think that's something like 
to be ashamed of. It's so, it's yeah, just Netflix alone. It's just there's so Netflix much. Netflix alone, yeah. And now we, I have the Disney Plus. I have Dave. A lot of, a yeah. lot of uh, series that I can watch. That the total distraction from. Yeah. So and, okay, let's yeah. go on your last part. Um, and last lastly, thing, what's the last thing? Lastly, would actually be to what I was discussing a bit in number two, was to to establish an online presence. Um, online presence. That would be number three because, um, as a musician or as a producer or or basically an artist, um, your biggest one of your biggest whys would be doing it for an audience, right? Mm -hmm. So you know and in a lockdown you know in the lockdown age like your only audience is an online audience right yeah so how do you build up an, an audience it's by building an online presence and you know it's it's new to some people it was super easy for others but you know a lot of a lot of it some of it is luck, but a lot of it is is actually creating the content and you know um, making it easy to consume for for other people and using the different you know social media platforms and yeah yeah it's if there was something I would wish I was a little better at um, it would be definitely um managing social media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I'm jealous of people who hand, uh, who's good, uh, who's good in handling social media because I can say I'm bad at handling it. Like I just yeah. post when I what I want to post. I don't, I I don't even think I have a brand in social media because some of my friends they manage their own social media with their own brand that they want. I'm yeah. jealous at it, but it's for because for me, I just I will just post whatever I want to post. Exactly, exactly. It, it, it really takes a good understanding of yourself, um, yeah. not just physically, but mentally and, and, your, and yeah. who you are. Yeah. How about you? Do, you? do you manage your own brand uh, in social media online? Um, I wouldn't call it manage, but I do handle my everything. I, I, um, I did use some of my experience from from working at uh yeah some some agencies but it's different you know when you're not in doing it for an actual brand when you're doing it for yourself it it's yeah. different it's very different yeah yeah you have to think of yourself like as a product almost yeah exactly exactly that's what i'm saying well yeah that's yeah, all for that okay that's all for Pat. You already had that three, but those three things I think that was really good, and the I think the listeners will follow those, or maybe try those things in order for them to keep staying and keep the music playing uh, flowing during the lockdown in the future. If we will still have a lockdown, or we don't know what's gonna happen in the future, yeah, right. So, Pat, can you just share them, your social media accounts? If you have one, your, uh, how can they follow your music? Maybe yeah. Share to them. Sure, thanks. Um, I do have a Spotify. It's Pat Guno. Um, that's Pat, the way that you would normally spell it. And Guno is G-U-N-O. Um, got a SoundCloud as well. Um, for those who are avid SoundCloud um, users, I got... Uh, YouTube as well, which is still under the same handle, Pat Guno. And my Instagram is underscore Pat Guno. So, and yeah. Do you have any music coming? Um, I've been planning. Um, a lot of my backlog, a lot of my archives, um, some people, you know, some friends from the Philippines have been telling me, hey, like, I really missed that one song that you made. Those are the songs that I'm... Uh, currently progress. Do you have Do you have one in your calendar? <laughs> oh man! Oh man! I wish I wish I had something on my calendar, but soon, soon. I'd like to say like in the next month before the year ends. Before the year ends. All yeah, right, Ben. Come on. Yeah. Thank you so much, Pat. For thank you so much. Um, yeah, thanks for happy having. Happy that me. we have you in our show. Thank you. 
I'll Thanks, see you around, man. buddy. I'll see ya.